Hey guys, uh, Ultimate 107 here. Um, I just wanted to do a little size comparison between some products I got um, to the new iPhone 5. So let's get started, Joe. Now I'm going to be doing some obscene ones, but just bear with me. All right. Let's do the obscene ones first, shall we? The new iPhone 5 and the PlayStation Vita. Now this one has a 5-inch screen diagonally. So let's see how they compare, shall we? It's not too bad of a comparison, really. Because this one's 4 and this one's 5. But this one is much bigger, as you can possibly, probably tell. Um, all right, let's go on to the next, shall we? <sighs> iPhone 5, 3DS. Thickness, <laughs> definitely thinner. Um, but you can't really. Let's see how big the screens are. So here's the screen for the 3DS. This is the screen for that. I can't really turn this on, it's kind of out of battery. Putting all that Pokemans. Right. Now, getting the more realistic. Wait, no, one more. The iPad. The iPad and the iPhone. A bit of a bit of a difference, but all right. Let's get to the more realistic stuff, shall we? Here's one thickness comparison of an iPod Classic and an iPod and an iPhone Five. Here is a. Another iPod Classic, a little thinner. It's predecessor. Oh yeah, let's do the iPad thinness, shall we? You know this is coming for this. It's just a matter of time. Because they're gonna be they're gonna be just as thin as these in the very near future, and they're gonna have squared off edges. You just you know it's true. But I love my iPad. I wouldn't trade it for any other tablet. Alright, and last but not least, the thing I have most in common with it, the iPod Touch. You can definitely tell the screen's longer, but in terms of size, it's not really that different. Alright, so comments, questions, feel free to ask and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can.